Benny's Diwali, a literally cultured read aloud. By Triti Amrigar, illustrated by Nidhi Chanani. Binny woke up happy but nervous. It was her day to share about Diwali, the festival of lights. Since her class was learning about different celebrations, her teacher, Mr. Boomer, had asked her to talk about her favorite holiday. Last month, Sarah talked about Rosh Hashanah, and today it was Binny's turn. She hoped everything would go just as she and her teacher had planned. Benny started getting ready for school. She smiled as she noticed the Indian outfit mom and dad had laid on her chair. Maybe it was the perfect day to wear her new blue suede shoes, for good luck. Benny turned around and got a glimpse of her mom looking so beautiful in the bright red silk sari dad had bought her for Diwali. Everybody went shopping for Diwali. Kids got new clothes and toys, parents bought each other jewelry, and friends exchanged gift baskets filled with cakes and sweets and nuts. Wearing her new clothes, Binny ran downstairs for breakfast. Instead of cereal, mom and dad had a treat for her. Warm jalabis, orange discs of sweetness that melted in her mouth when she bit into them, and soft milky petas that crumbled in her mouth and made her lick her lips. Dad quickly packed the rest for her class. May the words you speak today be as sweet as jalabis and as soft as pedas, he said. Mom drove Benny to school. Remember to tell them about the oil lamps, she told Benny as she kissed her goodbye. Good luck, Ben. You will do great. morning circle time, Mr. Boomer called Benny's name. But when she stood before the class, a terrible thing began to happen. Suddenly, she felt so shy and scared, her mind went blank. Some children began to giggle. Others fidgeted, not knowing what to do. Today, is Diwali, Benny said nervously. Diva who? yelled Tommy. The teacher stood up and gave the sign for quiet. Benny did want to share her favorite holiday with her friends, but she couldn't find the words. Mr. Boomer put a kindly hand on her shoulder Take a deep breath, he whispered. I know you can do this. Just then, Benny remembered what mom had told her about the lamps. To celebrate Diwali, people lit little oil lamps called diyas and put them by their front doors to guide good luck into their homes and chase away the darkness. All over the world, Diwali marked the victory of goodness and light. Benny now knew what to say. Diwali is the festival of lights. It is a Hindu holiday 
that lasts five days and it celebrates the victory of goodness and hope. She told them about the fireworks, how they whistled through the air and burst like stars in the night sky, leaving streaks of gold and red and green. She described the sparklers dad lit in the yard, how she made figure eights with them, the golden sparks opening like a flower. Mr. Boomer brought over the streamers that Binnie had made. She took out some colorful glitter and asked Julia and Aisha to help her make them brighter. The class gathered around Mr. Boomer's desk as Binnie handed him a teeny electric clay dia. The teacher turned it on. The small flickering light looked so pretty that all the children oohed and awed. Benny told them that if on Diwali you looked down from an airplane, you'd see the city shine like a diamond, lights sh shimmering everywhere you looked. She made them close their eyes and imagine a dark sky with a million twinkling stars. Diwali is a magical time for children everywhere. Benny had one more thing to show them, the best thing of all. She took out bags of colored powder, red, blue, yellow, purple, green, and orange, and sprinkled them onto the floor. First, she drew a flower with the powdered chalk. Then she used it to write, Happy Diwali to all. The children started clapping. Benny went to her desk, and out came the box of pedas and jalabis, one for each student in the class, and for Mr. Boomer too. They ate every last crumb of the sweets and smacked their lips in delight. Romeo raised his hand. How many festivals are there in the world? He asked. Benny smiled. Thousands of them, she said, and they are all beautiful in their own way. Mr. Boomer leaned over to Benny and said, great job. She grinned from ear to ear. Benny walked home for that day celebrating her own victory of goodness and light. The spirit of Diwali was real. The story of the oil lamps had chased away her own fears. Everyone loved Diwali, this wonderful festival of lights. The five days of Diwali on the first day of Diwali, people often clean their homes and shop for utensil, kitchen utensils. On the second day, homes are decorated with clay lamps and colorful patterns called rangoli, which are created on the floor with colored sand or powder. On the third day, families gather to pray to the goddess Lakshmi to enjoy a delicious feast and watch and to watch fireworks. On the fourth day, friends and relatives give one another gifts and good wishes for the season. On the fifth and last day, siblings visit one another and exchange gifts. Others use the day to clean and organize their workspaces. <laughs> 